and welcome back. We're gonna we're gonna go in there. We're gonna have some fun in Sand Mountain. Oh, we're gonna spend the last 15 minutes in this place, but it'll probably be split into just two videos. Either way, welcome to Sand Mountain itself, the ultimate challenge, the ultimate time challenge at, at that. And this is one that we're actually gonna have to use Sandy on. Not built for speed with this aerodynamic physique. But I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. Okay then. Accept time challenge? Yes, of course I will. Uh, I'm so manly. Um I sound like a little bit like Barack Obama, but uh you know with this you guys everybody needs a hobby, right? Aw, oh, come on man. Alright, that's how you do that. Unfortunately you have to hit yourself. Uh but but Here's the thing, 221. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go down there. We're gonna have some fun. Also, I just picked up the Android. That's what I was gonna say. Uh, jump up this trampoline for a sock, for starters. This is actually the hardest one. So I will tell you the hardest one of the three, I should say. Um, oh god, careful now. Now this is the slide where I said you could go to the double jump uh, ledge where it, you actually can do it in just a single jump but I don't think I'm going to try it. I think I might do that in a bonus episode just to prove you all wrong for those for those doubters for those doers. Boing! You gotta hit that. Up there is where the, is where the sock is with the sandy hook. You'll, you will see there's the sock right up there. Um, actually I should not have gotten that checkpoint because if I, if I fall, I would have had to do all that over again. I would have to just press start. Alright, don't go left. Just go where the boulder is. Um, you will want to go down here. Do this spiral. Because there is a sock. One of the last three socks here. Now we will just need one more. And it's th that one more is actually the sock that we need. That we just passed by. The one that we need Sandy for. So we will probably be finishing this up, finishing up this world with Sandy, with someone other than SpongeBob for once. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, I thought I was gonna overshoot then. Okay, now here's the last one. Okay, I just had to see how many socks I had real quick in case I didn't miss anything. All right, combo. Now, is it, all these things can just give you the same exact thing. It's just no matter where you want to go. Alright, now here's one that I always like. I never get the Super Ultra Mega Monster Rock combo on. But I can never do it. Just a Super Ultra Monster combo. Like like yup. And we're about to get our victory here too. Oh. Yeah, baby. And there we go. Of course, it's a Chuck. You son of a... You Chuck. You and me, Mr. Don't run for me! Boom! That was epic ass maneuver. <laughs> That knocks you back so far on the ice, too. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I killed them both somehow. Nice. We, oh my god. We, we, Dude, this is the short, shortest session we've ever done. And in, in like one sitting as well. Ta da! And there we go. Sand Mountain is done in terms of spatulas. Thank you, thank you. I'd like to thank the Academy and the 10 minutes I have left to spare. Man, this is just, this is just awesome. Congratulations, SpongeBob. You beat my best time. Thank you. Here's a spatula. You beat my best time. Thank you so much, Larry. Larry, Larry the Lobster. And that's all the spatulas. Now we just gotta go back at Sandy and try to get the sock there. It's gonna be a bit difficult, but we can do it in 10 minutes. What's happening, SpongeBob? Hey, Larry. Yeah, there's that old casual, there's that, there's that old casual uh, 
like high school conversation that I love. What's happening, SpongeBob? Hey, Larry. <laughs> I love it. I, I love that. I don't even care how short that exchange is. It's an awesome mass exchange. All right, now we're gonna. All right, now luckily there's a bus stop here, so we don't have to go back to the ski lodge every single time and switch out. So this is the only time we're gonna use Sandy in this world. All right. Now, I'm gonna do an, make an example here. You fall off, oh god! Oh, I just made it back, epic maneuver. I wonder if I'll actually like pull that off without scripting it here. There's actually, there's a couple shiny objects in this place. Like the one I just, the couple I just got there. All right, actually I'm gonna see if I can't do the jump here while I'm at it without, without um, double jumping. All right. It's gonna take some skill though. Some skittle. Alright, here we go. Yeah, see? I, I told y'all I could do it. Now don't hit the button. You wanna do this. Now this is what's hard. Oh. Now you gotta like make sure you don't get too much. You gotta make sure you have as much as as much leeway and momentum as possible. This is the problem. This guy can just like trick you out, and you gotta make sure you have enough energy to make sure you get there. <laughs> I tried to kick him from under him. Uh, either way, we did it. That's all, that's everything. That is literally everything. And eight minutes left to spare. That is, that is just amazing. And you know what? While I'm at it, I'm going to show you that alternate route that you could have taken. We, we haven't had enough playtime with Sandy. We might as well use her while we still can. I'm going to be grinding off the, whoa. Oh, okay, that's, okay. I was wondering what that was, but it was actually this. Now, you get, this is what you would have had to gone through had you not, this is a longer route than the, um, uh, this is a longer route than the one I took in the time challenge. You would have lost the time challenge either way. This might bring you back to a certain part of the, yeah, they give you the paintings there for a reason, as a warning. This might bring you back to a certain point of the rub dub dub slip sign the tub level in uh, the movie game. The one where the boulders are, fall are falling down. And plus she can just get some extra height and length over there with her jumps anyway. Also you'll notice that because she can't, she doesn't have the sneaking abilities that Spongebob has, I can't just like, I can't just hit those tiki's like I have been. The only way to hit those tiki's, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but the only way to hit those tiki's is with Spongebob, like on the slides. The only way to hit those with Sponge is with Spongebob and, um, the only way to hit those tiki's on the, on the, um, slides is with Spongebob and you gotta make sure you're not, you're barely touching the stick as well as, or not moving the stick at all. Like, it's basically just the same thing as every other time. Oh, actually, actually, I could probably get the Super Ultra Mega Monster combo this way with Sandy, because because she can just like lasso her way there. Otherwise, there might be not there might not be enough tiki's for that. I don't know why they wouldn't do that though. I don't know why the developers would would do that though, because this place is just loaded with money. Either way, look at her ice skating. <laughs> I am so happy now.